goddamn rain soaking wet. Super trips came. Got it in my pocket. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. their blood here. On your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it, just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 uh, stop, enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool, uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named... Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man.
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But Lauren, wait. really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine his name should be on both lists well Lauren I, I mean that's just an assumption but yeah I suppose his name is here somewhere help me we're gonna find him
The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy. The dead don't mind. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it. You lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. A little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me!
nothing but a slow boat. Chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, twelve, sixteen, twenty.
stuck. Grandma, I'll put it over there. He had never did find any help, and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all as I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave.
impossible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. Class. He hasn't even looked my way. <laughs> 